Hey, so today we're going to take a look at another story for feature acceptance. I'm actually really excited about this story. I, I'm hopeful that it'll really work for your team. So let's take a look. As a patient access user, I want to use the feed-based page layout so I can quickly take relevant actions and view relevant case activity. I think that the, the quick action uh, piece is really a titular or central uh, to the story. We'll take a look at it. The assumption criteria or acceptance criteria, all cases are associated with the feed, um, with the case hyphen patient access feed page. Done. All the, there are publisher actions, and I'll show you what this is, for longer call tasks, note, and treatment. A new IRC service console is available. Right now it says for a sysadmin profile, but we'll address that in another story. Excuse me. Assumptions, um, very minor uh, changes to page layout for publisher actions. There will be no more uh, than one session with requested updates to publisher. We actually had two, but that's all good. You and I had one, and then Monica and I had about a, an hour and a half. And then this is the one, the one here that's in bold, I think is important, and we'll take a look at it actually on the page. So uh, SB added calls, activity, notes, treatments added prior to go live, so before this console goes live, will not be available in the feed. That might be a little confusing um, for our users, but I think as long as we speak to it, it uh, we will be good. So this story pretty much encapsulates uh, the majority of the work, not, but not all of the work, because we did pretty we did working sessions where we were talking about requirements and then just implementing it right there on the fly or taking away some small tasks. As a result, um, QA I think uh, didn't have enough detail to do a really clear job uh, simply because so many of the requirements were undocumented. It was uh, fairly ad hoc. But let's take a look at what we have. So here I am. I'm in my friend uh, Dev, and I am in my the new uh, console. There is the search. So when I get a phone call, I can search by the name or by the phone number. Uh, I can also hide that tab if I need more real estate, if I'm working on a, a, a smaller space like I am here with this laptop. And then right here is our lookup. So sometimes the search, let's just this search right here, is terrific. But other times, I, I, having access to this functionality over here on the left, and I have the list views, being able to uh, go to the contacts, the accounts, or the cases, and then use these list views for things like recently viewed. Let's just cruise over to accounts, my accounts, uh, new this week, also the recently viewed, and cases. And I, when I think of cases, I think you know, it's the recently viewed cases that our end users may find uh, much more appealing. One of the things that we did is we've removed all the buttons that were over uh, over here that really made it confusing. They were in the list view in our prior implementation. In this instance, we're, the only one that we kept on here was the new, just in case we needed to do new. So we also have new account and contacts, new contacts. Uh, we do have add to service if we need to have it there. It's pretty much just the new. And I think this will make it clear to our users. So when I was, if I were to do the training, I think what I would do is I would you know, speak to the search um, you know, at onset, and then I would speak to the additional search capabilities here and the ability to create new if I needed to. For example, we know that sometimes we have cases that aren't associated with the contact, but we still want to record that information. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this guy. Here we go. Minimized. And again, just I can maximize it. See the little arrow right here? And I think we're going to you know, want to do some training to this. Um, I think some of our users might find it confusing at onset, but after they've seen it for a while, I think they're going to be good. So I am at a test record. It's uh, the Bennett Test household and uh, Sarah Bennett Test. So let's just go ahead and create a new case. And I want this one to be patient access inquiries. Remember, we relabeled 
this one to include the words patient access so everyone is clear once 360 goes on board that indeed we want uh, this to be simply for patient access. Continue. So here we go. I'm at a new, ca uh, new case, and it is indeed associated with Sarah. This is in uh, the edit view. And for my, in the past, some of my users love the edit view, and some of them haven't. I'm, you know, I'm of, of a mixed mind. I, I find it a little more busy than uh, just the, the regular view the, when it's saved. But let's just go ahead and go with it as is for the moment. We've added the field called Cancer Journey. So let's just say that this one is uh, unconfirmed or undiagnosed. Let's add in the subject. This is a test case. And then let's just grab a little bit of Ipsum Lorem text to throw in the description. And paste. Save. So my case is saving. And it's actually, it's, you know, it's kind of nice. We have client, we have Sarah Bennett, we have my phone number. And one of the nice things to note about the phone number is if the phone number says do not call um, on the contact record, then it actually won't show up here, which is um, awesome. And that comes from out-of-the-box functionality with our friends, uh, NGOC. There will be, but there isn't right now, an additional field right down here that speaks to the contact, or I'm sorry, the chapter. And we um, originally, when we talked about the design of this, we said we weren't going to be able to do that because we didn't have a, a primary uh, chapter association. The good news is that we do, so we'll be adding, or I'll be adding that piece in. The level of effort is, is not huge, and I think it's going to be a real win for our users. So let's take a look. Here are our case, uh, my case details. I can add in, you know, case origin. When I want to close the case, I have the fields right here for it. And one of the things that we've done that um, is different is there used to be a close case button. We've removed that close case button. And now I can simply update my status right here to closed and hit save. Now you do get a loss of performance uh, in terms of data quality when we go this, this route. And, and the loss that we get is the close case button really says if you're going to close a case, you need to provide these fields of information. But thinking about our users, I, I'm a fan of trying to keep it as simple as we can. And then once we're walking, um, we can advance to running. But this seems, the, I think, hopefully the, the clearest. So we do have the open activities, activity history. Notes is new, um, and we'll speak about that in a moment. We have orders. So we are going to want to do all orders right through this guy. We'll click New Order. And when we click New Order, we'll see uh, the GLI. Uh, order form that Manning has done an awesome do job creating. We have new treatments and we have case history. So this is the details of the case. But if we cruise over to here, we start getting some really interesting kind of fun stuff. If I want to log a call, I click right here, log a call. I choose my category. I choose my type. That's interesting, right? And um, I already have my case information in here. And I can put in my comments. And I think in my cursor, I still have my Epsom Lorem. And I hit Log a Call. And there it is. So now when I click Log Calls, I'm able to see that call update real quickly and easily. Also, I can see my status changes, like I changed that one case uh, to close, the one that we're looking at right now. Let's go back to All Updates. And now let's take a look at new task. New task is, um, I think, also incredibly helpful. So let's say the task is um, uh, call, uh, call back for first connection match success. I don't think the language is particularly good there, but that's, that's the intent. And then in the comments, I can put additional information if I want. I can collect my due date. I can assign this to a different user if I want to. So let's say that uh, actually this isn't me, that this should be Gary. 
Nice. We got it. So there it is, Gary. Status is uh, normal, um, or not started. Priority is normal. And I hit create. Now the interesting thing when we're uh, training is that the task can have a different priority than the case. So if they're, uh, they're separate. They're not tied entities. And our new task is indeed created. It's right down here, new task. And you might notice that it stays open. That's by design, but you can minimize it or go back to maximizing it. And if it's minimized and you click on an activity, it just go ahead, it just you know maximizes it for you. So we're at new note. So let's take a look at new note. This is a demo note. Boom. And Ipsum Lorem, create. It's showing up right here. This is our new note. We can click on it to get more information if we'd like. And then we also have a new treatment, incredibly easy, uh, easy to use interface, treatment date, description, outcomes, medication, side effects. And we have that it's related to uh, the contact record Sarah Bennett test, and we have that it's related to, this, uh, to the case. So let's go ahead and say create. So there we go. We have right now show all updates, but we could we, have, we can change that. We can modify it. It's um I, I think it's kind of it's nice and easy to use. And if I cruise back over here to my detail look, I can see that I have one open activity call back for first connection. That's totally in line with expectations. I have um, activity history that. Uh, it looks like I chose facts. Um, so it was a call and the type was a fax. Interesting. Reminds me of that uh, old AOL dial-up, so clearly we wouldn't want to do that. Uh, notes. I can see the beginning of my note. I can see the title, and I can see who it was created by. And I can edit and I can delete. Orders. Again, that's new order. That's the, the GLI piece. Treatment. And here is my, my treatment information. And it looks like I did not put in a date. So there we go. In a very quick nutshell, that is publishers and the uh, new console. I'm happy with it. Um, there's probably more to say about it, but I think this covers the gist. If this works for feature acceptance for you, please let me know. Um, or just toggle the boxes and or toggle the box and update the date. And let's just briefly before I end this, just take a look at the case details. So we also did a little bit of work in changing the layout, just making it a little more simple. So we have our closed case details as a separate section. We have our descriptive information here. We have PCR data. Right now it is uh, minimized, but we could you know, bring that out and see the rest of our PCR data. And then we have our, um, our older uh, case reasons uh, checkboxes that are still here and still available. We do have box files, boxes on all of our objects. And then we have the open activity, so just the same related list that we were looking at up there. There is the view all for the history. Uh, there's the notes, um, the orders, and our treatments. And then we have the case history down at the bottom. I hope this works for you. Um, I'm, I'm actually a little excited about it. Thanks.